Abigail is going out of the gym through here and uh, welcome to my review of Steven Universe ep Season 3 Episode 7. If you're looking for my Season 3 Episode 6 review, you can find that on my channel under my Steven Universe review, Steven Reviews and Recaps uh, playlist. Um, before we start the review and the recap, I would also like to say that, um, you know, Instead of being biased, I'm with. I found a new way to rate episodes. Like, like I've been giving a lot of episodes tens that that and other people's standards I don't think would probably make it a ten. So I, I'm I'm going to try to be more, be more professional with how I review these episodes. And yeah, you know, gotta be more professional. You know. So yeah, allow me to begin. This will also go for the rest of my reviews, too. So, yeah, let's start with the recap. Alright. The episode starts out with uh, Sour Cream and Steven, who's Sour Cream's roadie, see, uh, carrying his gear out to uh, the warehouse so that he can do his DJ thing. I actually like Sour Cream a little bit, I I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, along the way, they, uh, go by the, uh, Greg's car wash, um, they, uh, Sour Cream has to stop to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, and Steven and Greg just talk a little bit, until a tour bus pulls up, pulls up, and turns out it was Marty, Greg's old manager, manager when he was, like, still star child. Yeah. Okay then, um, so it turns out, uh, now people actually have a theory about this in particular, this, but Sour Cream, Sour Cream's father is Marty Duke father, so, uh, yeah, the two of them want to catch, well, Sour, Marty says he apparently wants to catch up with Sour Cream, and he sees he's doing biz music business, and he wants to see, like, help, help Marty set up his music, or, like, get his music career going. Also, Marty's also having struggles with his stepfather, Yellow. Uh, I forget his name. So, yeah, Steven, Marty, and Sour C Cream all set up after a while, getting official roadies and stuff, but, and stuff, so, yeah. Now, the con during the concert, like, the right before the concert is going to start, um, Marty pulls out a, uh, a guacamole branded soda, like, that tastes like guacamole, and everyone hates it except Onion. Onion is a strange child. He really is. And he's also related to Marty and Sour Cream. Oh, wait, no, wait. I don't think so, actually. I don't think so. I don't know. Ah. Tell me in the comment section below. Is, is Onion related to Marty and Sour Cream? Or is Yellowtail? I figured out the name Yellowtail. Um, Onion's dad. Like, real dad. I don't remember. Um, basically, that, ru almost ru that ruined the show. Well, that almost ruined the show. So, Marty has to, uh, you know, confront his father. I mean, Sour Cream has to confront, confront his father, Marty, and tell him to, you know, this is his show, I thought you were going to bond with me and stuff, but it turns out that he had, like, a really good sponsorship deal going on with this, uh, soda brand, and he, he needs this and stuff. So, yeah, Yellowtail, so, yeah, Marty's out of there, he give, he... But by the time, before he leaves on his tour bus, he gives, um, Greg a envelope. I'll talk about that envelope later on. But Yellowtail helps, uh, helps, uh, Sour Cream in order to make good, to help the concert. And it turns out to be a very good one with glow stick, glow sticks all around. And the check, it turns out to be 10 million Dollars. That's the reason why Marty was there. I have a feeling it's going to be what next episode is going to be about, according to the promos. They're going to go. 
Well, I'm going to talk about that probably in tomorrow's review. So, or later on today's, because by the time, wait, you know where I'm, when I'm recording this, I don't know why I decided to record this at this hour. It's 12.07. Yes, um, the episode didn't have any gems in it, which I don't really mind, actually. I don't think Steven Universe needs the gems in order to tell a good story, though I feel like, okay, it's very hard to explain what I mean by that. But they're not necessary in every episode, but they're necessary for the series overall. But they don't have to be in every episode. We've seen the, like stuff like that back in season one. And season this season three is going to more a season w- one turn, because season two is like separating Steven for like from from the humans and going into the gem drama for like more than half the season, which I don't mind all of that. In fact, I like that. I like that. It's just that I also want to mind hate. I would also would not mind seeing the humans on the show that we all that we saw in season one. So I'm happy season three is taking that turn. Also, apparently Steven's super strength. Also, he was able. He's like one tough Brody. But yeah, um. That's basically the whole episode. Um, in total, I'll give this one a nice 9.5 rating out of 10. It's an excellent episode to watch. And, you know, you don't really have to watch the whole series to watch this episode. Yeah, so, I want to I say start your friends off with this episode, but show them it, I guess. Or whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the review and the recap. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, Meister out.